This is a Land Rover Freelander. It's a 2.2 TD4 GS five door. It's a 2007 on an 07 plate. Um, it does have a private plate on at the moment. I think it's N80 DDS. Not sure what's happening with that at the moment, whether the uh, previous customer's taking it off or just leaving it on. Um, cars done 87,967 miles, 88,000 miles really. Um, very, very nice car. Finished in uh, Stornoway grey metallic with uh, grey cloth upholstery. The fuel economy figures, urban is 30.7, extra urban 45.6, and combined 37.7, not 60 time of 10.9 seconds and 130 miles an hour top speed out of a 158 brake horsepower engine. It's got a couple of nice features on it. Uh, it does look the part from the outside, all terrain tires on, it's got side steps and it's also got roof bars and a carrier system. A uh, really tidy car, got a good service history as well. I think it's got nine service stamps in the book at the moment um, it's due for service which we'll do so it'll be a 10 stamp uh, last serviced at 74,612 but uh, you should be able to see there fully stamped up and uh, service books with the car which is great it's had a Alpine radio uh, CD fitted which um, i to be honest, I'm not 100% sure how to work it. I'm assuming it's a CD. It may just be a, um, may just be something that streams your uh, music from your phone. I know there is a USB socket and also a, an aux, auxiliary lead in the glove box there. I'll just take you for a ride in it. So remote central lock-in two keys we've got pretty sure they should be power folding dormers I'll just slow down a little bit see if they'll go in and I'll check that after I have driven this car before um, we took it in part exchange of a customer, so I, I drove it when we were doing the deal. And I know it does drive uh, very, very nice already. But um, it was a couple of weeks ago when we did the deal. So uh, just making sure nothing else has changed, and uh, we'll take it out for its. Uh, we'll take it out for a, a 10 mile run. Get it up to temperature. Make sure everything works as it should do before we uh, put it in the workshop for a check over. Very, very cold in the UK today, been snowing on and off. So uh, these are the vehicles to be in when there is a bit of snow or ice on the ground. They do feel like a, a proper four-wheel drive and they perform like a proper four-wheel drive not like some of the others that uh, kind of just play at it you do feel you could go anywhere in one of these always good to see when you go out in the country the farming community um, plenty of these around there mile an hour limit along here so I feel like you could walk faster got a height and reach adjustable steering wheel it's multi-function as well We've got cruise control on the left hand side your audio controls on the right here door mirrors Yep, controls all working correctly for them. All the 
electric windows working. Great thing with diesels, lots of low end power. Just pull away. Six speed gearbox. I can't remember that I mentioned, but it's it's shod with all-terrain tyres all around. A little bit noisier than the normal things, but get you through winter and summer as well. And off-road, we've got these uh, wind deflectors around the front window, so you can crack the window a little bit and not get blasted in. We've got headlamp wash. There is um, the, the there's a tow bar at the back or the framework for a tow bar that's just missing the ball. I'm not sure whether it's that's in the boot or anything, but uh, there's a socket on and wouldn't take much to recommission it, even if the ball is missing. Nice to drive. The rev counter on the left there, temperature gauge, fuel gauge, speedo. I just need to drop the steering wheel a little bit from the position where I sit um, to see the mileometer and so on. I'll just now we've come to a halt. So we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel there. It's just showing it's doing 33 miles per gallon at the moment. And it's minus one degree outside. Oh, there we go. So the uh, folding door mirrors do work, but not when you're doing 30 miles an hour like I was. Very tidy car and uh, a really nice colour combination. Pretty timeless and not like these colours that come and go. And uh, they bring in a premium one minute and then three or four years down the line you can't give them away. Good stable colour. Very, very windy as well in the uh, in the UK. You see those two vans getting uh, buffeted about. Look at that. Auxiliary, you've got facility for a camera there. I don't think this has actually got it, but you can couple it up for a reversing camera. And uh, we've got Apple CarPlay, radio, auxiliary. climate control there then you've got the terrain response controls as I say proper things you can you can override it so that uh, you can go on any surface great on tarmac but you can go off-road if you so desire cup holders can't remember
remember again whether I mentioned it's got six spoke alloy wheels and they've been uh, sprayed black very nicely finished and, and that again it, uh, it's uh, a nice contrast to the grey metallic paint side steps which are the contoured ones not the ones that look like a piece of angle iron that's just been stuck on the side of your car and uh, we've got a rubber fascia so non-slip as well Range Rover SVR, Urban. I'll have to Google that when I get back. It's on a recovery truck, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> Here we go, so. 70 miles an hour, one switch cruise, 2,000 revs in sixth gear car just coming up the inside of me there assuming they were going to undertake Hilkington oils van doing 50 on the motorway transporter with a car that looks like it's just going to bounce off plates well, of course that will be tomorrow won't it the new plate people that, that those cars belong to are going to be lucky if they get them, the way that's blown about. That can't be strapped down properly the way it's bouncing about. Really comfortable ride. The seats are great, plenty of support, and uh, well padded. Getting a little bit of wind noise off the uh, roof bars, but that's usually the crossbar. If, you, if you're not using them, take them off.
quite sure how much we'll be asking for this, but probably somewhere in the region of six and a half. And uh, I was driving another kind of equivalent model to this, a, a Japanese one, I won't say which one it is, but the ride isn't a patch on this. Positive gear change, which clicks into gear. MOTs until April as well, so we'll be getting a, a new MOT for it. Um, I certainly so far haven't noticed anything that will need rectification. No noises or rattles or wobbles or clunked. Rear wipers good. So are the fronts. Nice vehicle. Showing there the fuel computer. Low washer fluid, it's now minus two. It's got colder since we set out. Shows you how uh, much fuel you've got before you need to fill up. Wipers on the right, indicators and main beams on the left. Side headlights, you've got auto headlights as well. Global locking and unlocking there. Power socket, heat is good.
only a twig, I thought it was a landmine. A nice car, this will uh, be on the website tomorrow. Here we are back at the garage.